on these problems, it's very important that you guys understand the first quadrant of the unit circle. You need to know this before you take your test. Pi over um, 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, pi halves, which is the same thing as 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. These have coordinate points 1, 0, square root of 3, 2, 1 half, square root of 2 over 2, comma, square root of 2 over 2, 1 half, comma, square root of 3 over 2, 0, comma, 1. Okay, that is the unit circle. And for those of you that were not here for the unit circle, all the unit circle is is triangles, special right triangles, inside of a circle. So we basically took triangles, and what's important about these is they all have a radius of 1. Every single one of those triangles has a radius of 1. So when we connected them, we created like this arc, which in turn makes, uh, creates our unit circle. But I only need you guys to understand this first quadrant. And what's important about this is when you have this unit circle with, the, with these radius of 1, um, tangent is still opposite over adjacent. It's still opposite over adjacent. But if you look at this, tangent of pi over 4 is a 45 degree triangle. And if you look at when the radius is 1, the adjacent side is square root of 2 over 2, and the opposite side is square root of 2 over 2. So the tangent is simply also y over x, which is represented over here. So when you have a triangle that has a radius of 1, you can simply just use y and x. Rather than using opposite or adjacent, you could just use y or x. Or it doesn't really matter. You could use the same thing. So therefore, I have square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2. Well, guys, what's 3 divided by 3? 1. One. What's 3 to the pi power minus e divided by 3 to the pi power minus e? One. It's just 1. So square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2 is just going to be one. Wait, how is that? Huh? How is